Hey there, and welcome to my channel. I've wanted to do this for a little while now, and well, here it is. This video will be about the autosynchless catfish and my observations of them over three years or so. My fascination with them started when I was told that they would not breed in captivity, but I saw some behavior that kind of uh, put that into question. In any case, here are some things I've noticed about them. First off, they're super peaceful and get along in a community tank, although if you're looking to breed them, you're probably better off in a species only tank. They do seem to like higher water flow. Mine's a 55 gallon and it's obviously planted. When this footage was shot, there was also CO2 injection. It's kept on the cooler side at 24 degrees Celsius. The tank was originally set up for my Hillstream loaches, so there's rather a high current in the tank. As you can see with the little guy here, they have strong pelvic fins and can hold themselves in faster flowing water with ease. As far as food goes, I didn't get fancy. Since they're on the cleanup crew, they're already munching away all day long. I did give them uh, the odd algae pellet here and there, which they seem to enjoy. I did also see them getting curious about the bloodworms. Their skin texture is almost reminiscent of shark skin in that it's got little teeth or it looks very rough as well. Here we see this fish's healthy digestive tract and some potential flatulence as well. Over about three years or so, I noticed spawning behavior four times, give or take. They seem to get in the mood in February and during the summer as well. First, the female will swell right up as the eggs mature. Pardon me for looking, but I think this tube becomes more prevalent when the female becomes broody and gravid. She'll also start to flash her belly a little bit more, hanging upside down and showing off to the boys. Sometimes she'll play coy, pretending she doesn't notice all the attention around her. The males also try and play it cool. There's a lot of teasing and chasing and foreplay for a couple of days. This is a great angle to see just how round the female does get. The males almost get into a bit of a frenzy. The dance continues. And finally, the denouement. Very similarly to a beta, the male wraps himself around the female, and the female somehow gets the male sperm into the eggs. Now, I'm not 100% sure whether or not she deposited the egg here? Or here. It would have been really cool to get footage of the actual egg being placed uh, wherever she placed it, but unfortunately, I didn't get that footage. I should also mention that the spawning behavior really happened after a water change, and uh, after a water change that was a little bit cooler than the 
the water temperature that was already in the tank. I think that it mimics rainfall in that circumstance there, and I have heard that they do like to spawn during the rainy season. Well, once they start, they pretty much go for a couple of days. It's a couple of days of chasing and spawning and laying eggs. Keep quiet now so you can enjoy the footage. I did manage to get two photos of the eggs. That's it. They didn't last. I never got any fry, but I think with uh, the proper tweaking, uh, breeding autosynthesis might be possible in captivity. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. Thanks again. Have a wonderful rest of your day.